Hey guys, welcome back to school and welcome to year 12. You are now in uh, the sixth form. Um, and things are different in sixth form. They are, they're better, some things are better, some things you might not like as much. Um, but it's going to be really, really different. So first of all, you might be in the same school, um, but you might not be in a school uniform anymore. You might be in kind of like business dress, or if you're really lucky, I don't know any schools that do this, being able to wear whatever you want. Um, so you kind of like, you, you've got that kind of like a little bit of extra confidence, a little bit of boost, walking around, kind of like, yep, yeah, I've made it. I'm in sixth form, which is really, really nice. Um, but don't forget, we are still in school. Okay, um, teachers are still going to expect you to do their homeworks, teachers are still going to expect you to like be quiet in class, things are going to be a lot more relaxed in your classes, um, probably going to be much much smaller classes than you're used to, um, I know that for my classes there's a cake rotor, in fact I think in my school there's a cake rotor for basically every single lesson, I don't know how like the, the six formers aren't kind of like like massive balloons because there's so much cake that goes on in sixth form like it's absolutely ridiculous i love my sixth form lessons mainly because <laughs> because they're great and because they bring cake um chemistry cake chemistry themed cake themed cakes are really really appreciated by teachers so if it is your turn on the cake rotor go with themed cake it goes down really really well um, things are going to be a bit more relaxed in the lessons because there's few of you, you're going to get to know your teachers a bit better. Um, I know that I'm much more relaxed in my sixth form lessons, but I do have really still high expectations. So, like, just, just don't even think about not doing your homework just because things are a bit more relaxed. Okay, you still have to do your homework. Um, but you might find it a little bit of a shock because there is a big, big, big jump between um year 11 and year 12. um not only in the the depth of the content how hard the content is but how quickly things work as well there's going to be a lot more um content shoved into lessons and you're going to be expected to do a lot more by yourself outside of lessons so for my classes i expect roughly an hour independent work for every hour in the lesson so if i see them for two hours a week i expect them to be doing two hours independent work on top of whatever homework i set them and then they might have two potentially even three teachers for a subject so you are going to be doing a lot of work i know you've seen your timetables um or you may have seen your timetables and there are blanks on their study periods they're not sitting around in the common room chatting eating all these cake periods they are actual study periods. Um, hopefully, you might find that some of your teachers, that, that free periods coincide with your study periods. And what some teachers will do will set aside like um, a period a week saying, I'm gonna be in my classroom for this period. If you've got any questions, come and ask me. Go and talk to your teachers, okay? Write down a list of things you don't understand from the lessons and go and fix the problems. Things move so, so quickly in year 12 that um, if you don't understand something or um, you're a bit confused about something, maybe you've got something wrong with the homework and you can't work out how to fix it, we do not have time to spend ages and ages and ages doing the lessons going over things because there is so much content to cram in. So please go and find your teachers outside of lessons and make sure they fix whatever problems that you have um, with the content or with the practicals or with the homework or anything, get it fixed. There is so much stuff to cover that we do not have time to leave this until the end. Um, so please, please get things sorted. Um, talking about timetables, I know, those beautiful, beautiful free periods. Um, please, I, I like my students to have structure. Um, so don't think of them as free periods. Maybe like allocate this one as kind of like a math study period. This one is a chemistry study period. So there's no temptation to go and sit around and do nothing or no temptation to just go and mess around the internet or take an extended lunch break. But you know at this period you're gonna go and sit down and you're gonna go and do your 
chemistry homework. Timetables are still really, really, really important. Um, if you don't have a timetable for year 11, in my study skills and revision techniques playlist, there's loads and loads of stuff in there, including how to make an effective timetable for yourself for after school. Please go do this. Um, it is so much more important now than it was in year 11, mainly because of how quickly things go and the large amount of content that we have to try and cram in. Now, we do need to start thinking about the future. A um, couple of things you need to think about. Have you picked the right A-levels? Um, I know I've been talking to a few people on Twitter um, who want to go and do medicine. And that A-level choices, what are great A-level choices, aren't necessarily going to be the right ones to go and do medicine or to go and do this, to go and do that, to go and do this. So your teachers are nice people. They do care about you and what you're going on to but they're gonna be able to help you much more if you let them know what your plans are. So if you know you want to go and do medicine, go and tell your teachers you want to go and do medicine and then they can advise you on whether you pick the right combination of A-levels or if they come across anything interesting like books or magazine stories, they can pass them your way um, because teachers want to help you succeed. But please check you have the right combination of A-levels for what you want to do in the future. Also thinking about the future, thinking about UCAS applications, universities, you need to start developing a passion. Something you can talk about with confidence in your exams. Now, there are a few books I recommend for this. Um, Graphic Guide 2, these are really, really good books. Really, really accessible way of accessing really, really quite hard content with lots of really nice pictures, which it's still really, really hard content. It doesn't diminish like the, the 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 trickiness of the topic, but it makes it a bit more accessible. Um, slightly more serious are a very short introduction to more graphs, more technical. These are written by university professors. Um, I know the one on embryology is actually written by the guy who lectured me in embryology at university. So there's also the manga guides too. They're really, really good. These are going to be really good ways to introduce you to um, a topic without overloading you and giving you kind of like a, um, an easy starting point to go and discover other stuff that you're interested in. If you're doing chemistry, I'm going to recommend my set of um, practice books with loads of multiple choice questions, loads of exam questions in the back so that you can start practicing because I know this is September, but we need to start revising now. Even if you're not doing exams till the end of year 30, we need to start revising now. I know. Um, because there is so, so much to cover. Um, and A-level is so particular in the way that things are marked. So stuff you might be able to get away with GCSE, you won't be able to get away with it at A-level. So, it is going to be a fun couple of years for us guys, um, I'm not going to fill this video with loads and loads of stuff, I'm going to stop there, um, but good luck, year 12 is, is, is a really, really exciting place for you at the moment, it's really, really exciting, so I hope you enjoy it, please don't get too stressed out by everything, um, you can still make changes to everything, this is still really, really early on in the course, so enjoy it. <laughs>